one. I just went to Holy Hill, but now we're gonna take a look at a dying store. I'm in the parking lot of Kmart. This place has been closing down for a while. I had mentioned that in my uh, video where we go went and look at the abandoned sentry, which is yeah. right, right over there. Exploring the abandoned sentry. Now we're gonna look at a dying store. We're gonna go into the dying Kmart where everything is like 80% off. I can't believe this place is still the Wrestling up. action figures are 50% off. I can't believe this place is still going. It was supposed to be closed like a couple of weeks ago already. We're gonna take a look inside and see how empty this place is. I'm just curious. The last five days. This store will not be participating in the current Kmart TV promotions. I didn't know there was any. I don't know. Yeah, Jesus. There's plenty of baby formula. This, this is a yeah, dying store. Wow. This is this is probably as close as we're gonna get to actually seeing this store abandoned. Which is why I wanted to come in here. Because once this place closes up, we probably won't be able to do that. Because they'll have it locked just like the sentry. There's the fitting rooms. It's a Santa suit. It's a Santa suit. <laughs> you pay fifty-seven fifty for this Santa Claus suit. There's an Easter Bunny suit. And look. Some of that stuff looks like it's in really old boxes. Some of this stuff has probably been here way past when it should have been here. Still Christmas stuff. Well, we'll find a bathroom and you can go throw it away. Well, the bathroom's right over there. We'll walk right over. This is crazy. This, this store has been here since I can remember since I was a kid. And all these years, we were, me and my parents are always like, when is this place gonna close? Because after Walmart came into town, that's pretty much the end of Kmart. We stayed up way past its life expectancy. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and throw Connor's drink away. This is gonna be the last chance I get to see this bathroom. Never again will I see the inside of Kmart's bathroom. Do you seriously have a camera you peeing this? <laughs> I'm not gonna record you peeing. I've peed many times in this Kmart. No, never again. Sad how things have to change. There are box springs for sale, huh? 30 bucks for a box spring. It feels horrible. Well, it's not the mattress. It's what the mattress goes on. That's why it feels horrible. All you have is just a mattress. I needed a new mattress. It's too bad I didn't come down here sooner. Look at these big mirrors. 17 bucks for a mirror. What the hell is this? Nest O Flex Convept Conveyor Belt? That, what? That's weird. I think it. Well, like you pull it out, it separates. I don't know, they're selling those? I think those are for like in the, in the back area. I thought they were even selling like all this kind of stuff. How much is this? 57 bucks for like this shelf thing. Look at all those shelves. Every, yeah, they're even selling off all their shelving. Are they seriously selling the rackets? Yeah, they're selling wow. the rackets. I could furnish my home with Kmart stuff. Yeah, the, the jewelry department yeah. stuff is for sale. Oh, you know what would be neat? I could buy these and display like video games in there. It even comes with the keys. That's something. I think these are attached to the table though. I don't know. No, 28 bucks for that one. Those are for sale too. And this is... <laughs> they didn't even look old. I don't even know what this is. A lot of these look like they're all sold already though. Yeah, all, the, all those are sold. Well, that's a shame. 69 bucks for these big shelves. 
these big shelves I could display all my movies on and make it look more like a like a video rental place. 69 bucks for these things. Look at these racks. 28 bucks for some of these racks. It's crazy. If I, if I had more money, I'd come down here and buy a bunch of this stuff. They're even selling like those lockers and stuff too. What's a locker? All that, all those things. What are those? Like filing cabinets, little lockers that the employees would put their stuff in. Like their clothing and whatnot. It's a dying store. So weird seeing this. I've, I've never ever seen it closed off like this. Daddy. What? Didn't I get you enough this weekend? I got you a bunch of stuff this weekend. I got you so much stuff I don't even remember what I got you anymore. You probably don't either. That's why you're asking for more. It's the definition of spoiled. If only we could go in the back. That'd be awesome. I'm like disoriented because I've never seen things like this before. Oh, that's already sold. Yeah. There's nothing in the back but like cleaning products and stuff anyway. I'm not supposed to be in this part of the store. You gotta stay behind this tape. Yeah, over here, back here would have been like all the automotive stuff and like the toys and stuff. But they're clearing this all out now. I mean, you can go over there. That's like where they have like everything now. They put everything over there. Now the store is like this big, vast open area. I wonder what they're gonna do with this place. Oh, there's like furniture in the center there. I'm gonna go look at that little chair right there. It's like wicker. Oh, it's nice. Nice and not worth $85 to me. There's Christmas trees. Look at that. 30 bucks for a Christmas tree. That's insane. Why, where do you see toys anyway? Some of the store people are sitting there staring at me. They put over, they put it over here. Like, everything's over here now. Put almost everything over here. Oh man, there's a Power Ranger and Kylo Ren. It's one of the last things they couldn't sell. I don't know who those guys are. 60% off the Walking Dead video game. I had, remember that, that zoo safari one we had, it worked like total shit. 60% off for freaking Black Series guys. Holy crap. Call of Duty Legos, a Buzz Lightyear projector. All these toys could be anyone's for 60% off. <laughs> All they have left is like the Ultimate Warrior. Ultimate Warrior. They could not sell the Ultimate Warrior. He'll be the only one left when this store finally closes. I wonder if this, dude, I wonder if these will be behind the dumpster. I don't know, they won't be able to give them away, they'll just be in the dumpster then. Let's go dumpster diving for Ultimate Warrior action figures. I do want an Ultimate Warrior action figure. Yeah. Is there really no other decent ones here? There's, all, there's this guy, there's, and then there's this guy, these, these guys. These are the last, last ones. So those suck just as much. Batista and Batista. These are both Batista. Nice. I suppose if you really need an Ultimate Warrior, you can have them. Oh my god, how much is the heart the heart pressure machine? Are they selling this? Come on, Kmart, why couldn't you sell the, the heart monitor center? I gotta test my blood pressure. Are you seriously gonna? Yeah. Let's I'm gonna press the start button. Does it feel good? Puts a lot of pressure on your arm. My blood pressure was 142 over 78, and my pulse was 74. I think I wonder if that's high or not.
I don't really know. There's the milk and juice section. I never thought I'd see it again, and this will be the last time I ever see it. This was this was the pharmacy. Now you're getting your blood pressure taken. There's paint makers for 60% off. They come over here by the refrigerator. Oh, they are selling this stuff. So I kind of had a feeling they were. You have 1,500 bucks to borrow, Daddy, so I can get one of these coolers. How? 1,500 bucks they want for these. I'm gonna slight intermission. My battery ran out of my camera, so I went home and got it. We're gonna go to the park anyway later. I wanted to look around some more at this dying store. Dying store. I'm filming and I'm also being filmed. Pretty much. Those little bulbs on the ceiling are cameras. I wonder if they're selling the cameras too. All the shelves are empty. This is where the toys would have been. And the Christmas stuff and electronics would have been way over there. And the candy was over there. This was a toy aisle. This is... I am literally standing on a toy aisle. Now there's no more toys and no more aisles. Huh? Come over here. There's a bunch of really old coupons. Really old coupons? Yeah. I don't remember what would have been back there though. I'm too scared to go back there. So I'm not gonna do it. There's, there's people still working here. They were looking at me while I was filming. I really don't think they would care. I mean, the store's closing down anyway. I don't remember if this would have led back to the the plant. Yeah, this leads back to Home and Garden. We'll actually exit the store pretty soon. Are we gonna go this way? Eventually. I'm not done looking at this barren wasteland of Kmart. Holy shit, this is nuts. Wonder if they're selling the scanner. I wanted to go to what? Did I keep the saying I wanted to go to Uncle Johnny's? Where's Uncle Johnny's? I have no idea. I'm gonna take one last look at this place before I never come back here. I'm gonna go. We go to the plant part. Yeah, I exited the store. There's some people staring at me when I was filming, and then they went back in the back. So I think they're kind of weirded out about me filming in there. We might as well go finish this up by looking at all the plants and look at all these plants that the the dying Kmart has to offer. 20% off of these beautiful, beautiful, shitty looking plants. <laughs> That's pretty much all they got left. There's like fertilizer and stuff. Of course, there's no more Western Union. That sign's been there forever, but I can't remember there ever being a Western Union in here for the last, the last like 10 years. Now I don't think we we're supposed to go in there. Well, the doors were probably open, but we just exited to the front of the store because I wanted to get shots of the store. There was one time when this place was all new. Now it's on the verge of being abandoned. Look at the sidewalk. There's plants growing out of it. Doesn't look like it's very well kept up for years. We could have exited the store this way. But there's even cash registers right there that have been completely stripped of everything. Nothing left alive. The heart of Kmart has died completely. This is where all the plants would have been. Now it's just an empty, vacant lot with a fence around it. I'm sure that huge dumpster right there probably has a lot of parts in it from 
when they're throwing everything away from this place. Yeah, it's all locked up now. You know, there could be good stuff in there. What? Who knows? What could be in there? I don't know. Ladder. There's a ladder on this side. Are you supposed to climb that? I'm assuming not. But what's the harm in taking a look, huh? There's a ladder on this dumpster. We're gonna climb up and take a look inside. I'm looking too. Hang on. Oh, it's just all shelves. There's one cute little Kmart thing that you can put newspapers on. Other than that, there's really nothing to write home about, as they say. It's a bunch of junk. I mean, all this stuff has looked like this for like the past five years, a little longer. This place is like on the verge of dying and becoming an abandoned place. It's just so strange to see. I remember coming here a lot when I was a kid and a lot of my, like, I, had, I got a lot of Sega Genesis games from Kmart, from this Kmart. When they're still selling Sega Genesis stuff. Are you still, are you gonna try to get in the back doors? No, there's people still working here, man. I wonder if there's any dumpsters back here. We actually remember we came back here and we were trying to get into Century, which is right there. That was the first out on a walk video we did. It was the old Century. And now it's going to be the old abandoned Kmart, which is that side. I want to keep trying to get in those doors. We ain't getting in those doors. I did try the semi doors, they don't open. Sure. This is still behind the old century. It's like a continuation of the century. The century video. I really thought it was gonna open. I didn't get it open. We've tried before and failed. It's not gonna open, kid. That ain't gonna open either. Those are locked tight. Oh well, yeah, so I was thinking, what the hell is this? Century had it behind their building. There's a green light and an orange light on it. There's a power box. This looks like it opens somewhat. I have no clue what any of that stuff is. Look, there's a big motor in there and a pack of cigarettes. I don't know. Oh, that's someone's garbage. Someone's garbage is up in there from who knows when. We came back here, ate their lunch, shoved their garbage up there. There's a pack of cigarettes and an old sandwich and a coffee cup. Now this video has brought us back full circle, back to the abandoned century. The first out on a walk video we did. We're going to take a look back inside the abandoned century. All the stuff from the floral department, Valentine's Day, when this around the place, the time the place closed. I can't really see anything that well. I'm getting into the reflection of the window. The last time I tried peering in there as much as I could, I'm gonna scream hay at me, I think. Yeah. Those kids? Yeah. Well, I think they're yelling at each other. There's actually a Little Caesars pizza here. One that I'm very fond of that I used to go to all the time. And that's actually closed too if you look inside. I used to get pizza here all the time. And I used to make it just the way I wanted it. I used to want extra cheese and sauce on it. And they were always happy to oblige as long as I paid a little extra. The posters are still up there in the menu. Little Caesars side, the Italian cheese bread. Oh, look at this. Mom's, grads, and dad's, the perfect gift. Five dollar pizzas. Hey. They were voted best in America. Now this place is available for rent. Can we rent it? What are we gonna do with it? I don't want to cook again. I'm gonna make it something else. 
That was the best value in America when it was open. And now it's nothing. Oh, well, thanks for watching, everyone. It's weird seeing all these like abandoned places now, these places shutting down. The final remnants of things that were alive and thriving when I was in high school when I was younger, they're all shutting down and becoming abandoned now. It's really, really odd. Thanks for taking a look inside the dying camera with me. Please subscribe to my channel, it's absolutely free. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. See you later, Kmart. Perfect way to conclude this video. My son wanted to go to the park, so now we're at Willowbrook Park in Hartford. Not far from where we were at the Kmart. It was a good day. By the time you see this, you'll, you would have seen the, the Holy Hill video we did. We shot both videos in one day. I uh, had two days off of work, so I got pretty much got paid for making these videos. I had some paid vacation time to go off. It's been a lot of fun. Great couple of days. I don't want to go back to work tomorrow, but anyway. Yeah, I'm going to play at the park. I'll see you guys next time. filming you.